Hello there guys, welcome in another tutorial. So we continue making the the radio. So let's start. We have to make this one a bit bigger because actually the size is isn't that good. Something like that. That will be fine. Also Move this one back. Let's set it the pivot, and let's select one loop, and let's just delete it. And right now, when we're gonna fit this in, pull it in, make it bigger like this. Double check if it's okay. Everywhere is fine. Yeah. Okay. And back it's okay for now as well. Okay, it's fine. So let's create the cylinder. Move it 90 degree. And let's place it in the correct place somewhere here, scale it up bit down some something like that resize it and before actually putting it in I just select all the faces like actually select all of those none of those so we can have a back selected and right now let's pull this one in Okay, move some here and okay, let's leave this one like this. Let's go to create and text and click this box. And here, let's write B U S H and polygon. Uh, they can be triangle, uh, actually, quad. And let's press create. Actually, let's move this one here, and from from text, where is text? We have this, and this text, we actually gonna select this. Just those, delete that. We don't need this. We actually just need the text. Let's go modify center. Let's make this one smaller. Uh, that's gonna be perfect. Actually, it's scaling down as we need it. Okay. Let's focus on it. Let's ex extrude it. Pull this one in. Okay, I'm just gonna check, double check. There is a faces. There is a faces there, and just hit delete. So those back faces, they're gonna be deleted. We okay, have nice 3D, 3D writing. Okay, and we have this one done. Let's go back here. What we're gonna do? Select this, delete that. Select this edge, ex extrude it, and scale it down, pull it in. Now, extrude it again and pull it in. Actually, this not gonna give the result which we want, even if we're gonna smooth, smooth that. So let's go and create one more edge. Actually, that's two edges too much. 
let's create one one over here and let's put it put it down okay you don't have to move it like this and actually right now let's select all those faces put it in a bit more and that's gonna give us the shape what which we want okay should be good right now what we have to do unfortunately we have to pull it back take this bring it up and let's extrude it again scale it somewhere here put it in and actually we need to make this edge a bit, bit harder at this point so let's include one more okay that's what we need and at this point what I really don't want to do, I don't want to cut these faces and add polygons here. That's gonna be really bad. So I just want to cheat a bit. So I'm just gonna make this a um, bit bigger than it's in reality. But um, but we need to put it a bit more inside. So that's too much. Yeah, actually, I will need to add, unfortunately, one edge loop somewhere here. Just take this face. Put it in. No, delete it. And delete this one. And we have to delete all of those. Because and we're gonna have to yes something like this will okay something like this will give us the result so okay let's have a look i can delete that i can delete that can i yes i cannot delete nothing more i can move this one here that's fine can move this one here no that cannot and can I move this one here I can it's fine let's move it up and this one a bit up okay so that's give the result. Well, I, if if I will have this one like for all kind of animation or something, I will make it with more high poly. But I really don't want to give more polygons on this. This one is extremely high poly for the game asset. But I want this as to be to be that detail. So that's why I'm leaving like this because that's gonna be one of the main main asset for me so I'm gonna use this one a bit as a animation so okay uh, let's select all let's delete that so, um, sorry select the vertices pull it, pull it in and let's select this put on the, on the place where we need it yes Somewhere here, put it inside. Try go, try to go to a smooth version. Doesn't really too much. Try to add one more edge. Put this edge over here. 
it's looking that looks not great. Select this edge, make it smaller. Okay, that's looking better. As well, don't want to add so much poly over here. That's looking like more or less what we need. Maybe bigger, something like that. Okay, let's select now all those faces, extrude, extrude them, pull it up. We need to make this edge harder, so let's just add one more edge. And actually, this one smaller. I move smaller and we need to make those two edges at the same at the same at the same size. Right now this one can be smaller. Okay, that's good. That's what we need. Okay, so here we here we finish for now. Um, in next part, we're gonna try to add the handle and buttons on top.